street Presents tied up with a string for you and me So grab your stock Hi guys! I started reading Once Upon a Broken Heart yesterday and I'm swallowing it up. I'm almost halfway through, I'm past halfway through this book already. This is a loved book so I've been excited but also half nervous to start reading it. But I'll talk more about that later for now. I am about to explode of hunger and there's one cafe I've really been wanting to go to for so long but it keeps being like either filled with people or closed every time I'm there. So I'm crossing my fingers that there is space today so I'm gonna go to Kyungbukung to find that um, but before that I need to find somewhere to eat there. I'm kind of craving sujibi or samgyetang. I need to figure that out anyways. Welcome back to the vlogs guys. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> It's hand pulled dough noodles. It's actually not like noodles. It's it's kind of like the pre-stage of making bread and then just dipping them in boiling water. Now that I think about it, isn't that what noodles are? That's embarrassing. I don't know. <laughs> This is the cafe that I told you about. I'm really excited because it doesn't look like there's too many people inside. Let's go have a look. The way these characters are written, it's such a like fantasy, like how do I describe this? Fairy tale. It's very much like a fairy tale and that's what I'm having a little bit of a tough time with with the book because it's very much like cringy <laughs> and I know that it's supposed to be that because it's a like a fairy tale but I don't think I can look past it. It's a little bit hard for me. <sighs> I'm trying hard guys. I am swallowing it up though so I'm enjoying it but I'm just, it's not exactly my type of book but I still enjoy it. Yeah, that's all I have to say for now. <laughs> Oh, this wind is actually straight up painful guys. I've just gone into a little bit of a side street so I wouldn't be like blown away by the extremely ice cold wind. I actually, in my book, Christmas starts from December 1st and then it goes on until right after Christmas. And for me as a Danish person that's the 24th. <laughs> and like my little sister for example, she's just like such a Christmas geek that whenever November rolls around she's like putting on the Christmas music and decorating and like getting into the spirit. She's like yeah if Christmas was three months I would be happy. I, I love Christmas but a month is good enough for me so I've been like trying to limit myself like be really due diligent with not listening to any Christmas music or not like doing any Christmas shopping or anything Christmas related until this Friday when it's December 1st but I'm going to have to break my promise because I want a Christmas vibe out for you guys when you're seeing this video so tomorrow we're going Christmas shopping and decorating the house it also feels really good because like it's so damn cold so it feels like yeah Christmas is really just around the corner <laughs> And uh, that was an example of the Christmas decorations that I will not be buying tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's go to cafe number two. It's supposed to overlook the Hanuk village, which I think is really cute. Let's go. It's starting to snow. <laughs> when the first snow um, hit Korea a couple of weeks ago, I was at home and I couldn't see any snow from 
my apartment. I don't think it snowed in that area. But now I saw it and it just, it, I can't stop smiling. I love snow so much. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> do know how to wing something. <laughs> I had leftover pasta from cooking last week. I thought I would just make a tomato sauce because I also had tomatoes, garlic and onion. If you have those three, chop them up in the oven and then blend them up after. It's such a good sauce and it's super easy. You almost can't fail it. wanting to go to see like the Christmas it's called the Christmas market it's not like the Christmas market that you might think it is but it's just like Christmas decor um, Sarah from two hearts one soul told me about it and then she made a video about it too and it just it was a lot of cute things not everything oh looks God. tacky which is I like tacky though I'm not gonna yeah, lie yeah Hattie she, she likes to know <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm on the look for some of those like a uh, the glass balls the like glass ornaments, those ornaments. Ah. Oh. we got Christmas tree I have one from last year, but it's gonna be like the moment of truth tonight. See if it's alive. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go see if we can find it. It's so confusing to find. <gasps> this is so cute. This tree is one million one. Why though? But look at the ornaments, though. I really love like the glass ones. Until now, I've only had these like ornaments that are all plastic from Kupang. So it's time to get some good quality ones. I do like, but it's green too much on a green tree though. What do you think? I think you add gold into it as well. Yeah. But I want the gold to be like those bigger glass ornaments maybe. <gasps> These are actual glass. It's so difficult to choose something because you feel scared that if you put something down, you're gonna find something better two minutes later. I'm scared to touch things. Yeah, it's all glass. It's actually good quality stuff. Well, I mean, like better quality than Daiso. This is what I need. <laughs> oh, they're so pretty. Look at some of the green ornaments. Like rolls and loads. Yeah. I just I don't have any words. I've already got them. It's actually surprisingly affordable. Oh, I did not expect I expected two, three tacky stores, but this is like a full this is a goddamn market, guys. Holly hanging across the door. Neighbors singing. Tales of yore, it's so close. Hardly can wait. Waking up on Christmas, children dreaming without a care. Look where this package is from, guys. <sighs> There's two huge boxes here, and they're heavy, and it's not everything that I've bought on Amazon. I bought, in total now, I think I've bought 19 books. By the way, I placed the boxes on a blanket here that I was going to wash tomorrow morning. Either way, I didn't put nasty box in my bed. Don't worry. Everyone knows by now that Kanye is my favorite skincare brand. And I don't say that lightly because I always try new skincare. Not sponsored or anything, I'm just unboxing the products that I got. Because they are launching new items, which is very exciting. They haven't done that in a very long time, so I'm really excited. Oh, it's a Christmas set. Oh my god. Ta -da. Eee, my favorite toner. Kombu Balancing Toner. And the Kombu Barrier Ampule. They made an ampule version of this? This is going to be my obsession from now on. This package is something that I ordered. They actually were gifting me stuff as well, but I have saved items from their store for a couple of weeks 
and when they contacted me and said they wanted to send me a gift, I also wanted to order this along with it. I didn't want to ask them for more gifts. I always feel bad for doing that when brands reach out for like requesting. I don't know. I should be comfortable doing that, but I'm not. I still don't get my brands send stuff, you know? So I ordered this bra because I've been wanting a strapless bra for a long time and I just saw the ads from it and it looked so comfortable. Oh my god, I love this already. reason why I really loved how this seemed online was because it didn't have a wire. Like when strapless bras has a wire, it just tends to nag into the rib so much. I was a bit unsure about the size, but I got the medium. And it seems to fit. Wow, this is gripping onto my shirt. This feels great. Okay, oh my god, I'm so happy with this actually. Oh, now to think I'm so excited about it. This thing was stuck in the customs for I don't know long. Okay. strange that I'm ordering a full series that I just finished, but I want them as a reward. I want a trophy series standing on my shelf. Oh, I love this so much. And then there is another single book in here. I want gut-wrenching, heartbreaking, dangerous books that's gonna mess me up on so many levels. Yeah. I'm, I'm a feminist. I have a feminist tattoo right here, but it's like my feminism just It's like it just disappears. But so, um, with that said, that should be enough said. This is fiction. I've ordered Haunting Adeline. I don't want to say anything more than it's a book with an extensive triggering list, apparently. And I don't know anything more about that. I actually haven't read the trigger list, but that's what I got. Let's unbox this one. <laughs> Why am I like this? I never thought that this would be me. <laughs> Complete collection, throne of glass. <laughs> Because after Akitar, I have so much faith in Sarah J Maas that I've ordered the full Throne of Glass series. I've ordered a full eight books without reading the first one. That's how much faith I have in Sarah J Maas. They've put Assassin's Blade as the first book, but I know that some people recommend to read it as the fourth book, I believe. If you've read the series, what do you recommend? When do I have to read the Assassin's Blade? Why? And why should I not read it the other way around? And also, just give me any thoughts you might have. I'm going to Denmark in Christmas time. I'm going to bring the first three or so books there. So I want to bring the right books with me. So please let me know what you think about that. Oh gosh, all of these are going to look so good on my shelf. And this is just the beginning. Book Cecil have just gotten started. And she is not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> it's time to decorate the house. Let's go and get Jake. Ali. 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 It's so close, hardly can wait Waking up on Christmas Children dreaming without a care Tis the season most every It's so cozy in here. It's like, I think this is the my favorite decor that we've done all of the years that we've lived here. I don't know, I just love it. And I'm really very happily pleased with the choice of going very simple with the um, ornaments. I really love the greens and the whites and the golds together. So I know in this video I started this book and I kid you not I finished it in less than 30 hours and then I started the second one that was passed down from Carrie to Sarah from Two Hearts One Soul to me. So we've all read from this book and when I say I finished this so fast like I swallowed it. I was actually not really sure as I said how to feel about this one. I feel like it was very like um once upon a broken heart 
as I said, it was very cringy. And I think like it's because I wasn't really used to the style of writing and I wasn't really used to the kind of like fairy tale theme. Also the main character, she just, I did not vibe with her at all in the first book. Like she just seemed really like naive and just kind of frankly speaking, quite stupid. So I just, I don't know. I didn't think she was badass. I didn't think she was anything special and she kind of annoyed me a little bit. So that's why like this book, I was like, I don't know, I get the hype, but like, I don't think it's for me. But then she just finally got some backbone and she just like, I don't know, I started liking it so much and I just like, these books are incredible in the way that like every single page just has something that makes you catch in it. Like there's not a single spot in these books that make me bored, not at all, which is kind of crazy because even Akator did have moments where I was like, okay, this is like stretching it out a little bit. This was so good guys. And I finished it so fast and I was like, like I think I read. 250 pages today. I swear it, it was like it was that good and I just could not put it down and I was so shocked at the end and I'm so sad that I don't have the third book with me. I am going to wish for it in my wish list for Christmas for sure. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this series. I'm pleasantly surprised at the turns of events in the second book and I just, I don't know. Yeah, so I, I recommend it. I did not think that I would recommend this, but I am recommending it in the end. I love it, so good. Now I'm considering what to start with next because uh, the next book that is supposed to arrive tomorrow is Fourth Wing and I really wanna start with that, but I do wanna start reading something tonight though. I don't think I can go to bed without continuing reading something. So I might continue with From Blood and Ash or I might go and try that uh, Haunting Adeline. I'm not sure. That's probably not a before bed kind of book. <laughs> but I'll start something and I'll finish that and then I'll go on to fourth wing because I really, I really hope it's going to arrive tomorrow. But if I know Korea right, it's going to be stuck in customs. That's all. I hope you are having a wonderful beginning of December. And I'll see you next week. Love you guys. Bye. Waking up on Christmas Day. Waking up on Christmas Day. Day.